Let's face it guys, you lot are awesome. You ask me fantastic questions every single day, but the most common question is this. Why don't I, the Video Gadgets Journal, make a screen recorder myself? Top question, and this is your answer. Hello everyone, and welcome to the brand new Video Gadgets Journal studio. I say studio, it is in fact my bedroom, but with this green screen I'm able to do awesome stuff like that. It really is addictive when you do that. Alright, stop. So yes, we're here to answer the question, why don't I make a iOS screen recorder? Since I do lots of reviews on them and tutorials, and I know what you guys want and you know what you want, surely I should make something precisely to your specifications. Well, I'm going to answer that question right now. And I'm afraid if this is going to be a too long video didn't watch, the answer is no. I'm not going to make a screen recorder and I never will do. And these are the reasons. First of all, let me put this question to you. You love playing video games, I'm sure. This is one of the reasons why you want to screen record, whether it be Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, Minecraft, Super Mario Run. You love playing video games. But with any video game that you play, there's probably one or two things that you'd like to change about it. So, my question to you is, why don't you make a video game that has all those improvements? Well, the simple short answer is, you're not probably a developer, an artist, a graphic designer, a user interface designer. Essentially, you don't have the skills to do that. And you may never do, because maybe coding isn't your passion. You're not interested in writing the code, you just want to play the games as a hobby, but your passion is maybe, I don't know, ice hockey, tennis, whatever. And it's pretty much the same for me. My passion is in video making, and I have one or two skills in video making, but I have absolutely no experience in coding. And it would probably take me years to do that, by which time I'm sure the iOS screen recording scene will have moved on quite significantly. Also, look at it from this point of view. I'm a reviewer. I critique things, I test things, I say what's right or wrong. It's very similar with a journalist. They'll write a piece on a film or a video game or a sports event, a music uh, event, but they're not going to be uh, involved in the activity themselves at a high level. They probably can't sing or they probably can't kick a ball and I think that's probably the same as me. I have an interest in the area but I'm probably not very good at the art itself. Another reason why I don't make an iOS screen recorder is, to be honest, it's a thankless task. They are so difficult to program because of Apple's restrictions, you have lots of complaints about them, and to be honest, you do a lot of complaining about the screen recorders, whether it's the external microphone, glitchy videos, poor performance, the fact that you can't get it on the Apple App Store. But to be honest, I don't know why anybody actually develops an iOS screen recorder, because it's very difficult to make any money off it, and everybody just complains about them, whereas on Android, it's as simple as that. Yeah, I just love doing that. But I guess for some people, that's a spark. It's very difficult to do, therefore very niche. Therefore, if you can break into the market and create an iOS screen recorder that lots of people use, then you've got potential, whether it's a developer picks you up and signs you on, or eventually, screen recording becomes more legitimate. Because at the moment, it's pretty much not illegal, but you're circumventing the AirPlay system in order to record your software. Apple doesn't like you doing that, they'll chuck you off the uh, App Store, and then when it's outside of the App Store, there's a lot of piracy going on. I mean, for example, Tutu have their show, but they didn't develop it. They've just, I guess, ripped the application, signed a certificate, and are using it for their own services. Is that legal? Probably not, but this is the only way for us screen record so it's a very great area and I guess a lot of people get in trouble when making iOS screen recorders so that's another reason why I wouldn't certainly go into that and the final reason is time I just simply haven't got time to even investigate what you would need to do to make an iOS screen recorder I've got a full-time job I make these YouTube videos whenever I can I've now got a Clash Royale clan to run and would you believe it I've got a life outside of YouTube and I'm pretty much at capacity so, unfortunately folks, I'm not going to be making an iOS screen recorder anytime soon, but I'm going to cover every single one that comes out and review them and make sure that I give the best screen recording opportunities to you and to grow your YouTube channels because I know that's what you're wanting to do with screen recording, to more or less record games and put them on your channels and build an audience 
just like I do. And I hope I'm an inspiration for all you guys who want to do that and girls indeed. Thank you very much. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them. And maybe we'll do a Q&A on more topics in the future. Otherwise, subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.